great, great, great night of boxing. And, and yo, we're blessed. We may be hitting a golden era. I mark this day down. We may be hitting. Remember, the, you know how your father or your grandfather will tell you about the 80s? Oh, in the 80s, we had Larry Holmes as the heavyweight champion. And then after him, we had Mike Tyson. Oh, yeah, and then we had the Four Kings. And we had Alexis Arguello. And we had Aaron Pryor. All those guys are great. Don't get me wrong. And I'm no way, shape, or form saying that they're not. But, yo, we may be hitting a golden era. Because when you're living in it, you don't know. We got Tyson Fury, who's 6'9", 280 pounds, has a chin. Proof of that is him getting dropped multiple times by Wilder and, and kept getting up and ended up knocking out Wilder twice. So we got one of the best heavyweights probably of all time. We'll see his run, but it's going to be hard to beat a guy that big with that good of a chin. Then we got Canelo Alvarez, who's probably going to end up being the greatest Mexican of all time. If we're being honest, he might he may end up being that. You know. Then we got Spence, Crawford, Usyk. And then these lightweights, we don't know what they're going to be, but you know, Tank, Haney, Ryan, Tio, we don't know what they're going to be. Maybe one of them flakes out, maybe two of them are for real, but point is we see that there's a lot of special talent. Whether the talent hones himself, we don't know. But there's talent there. Then, it, and, and the, if you want to go in the lower weight class, we got Inoue. We got uh, uh, MJ Alfredaliev. Stefan Fulton has two belts. And he's talking about unifying, uh, going undisputed with MB, MJ, Mak Ak, excuse me, MJ Akhmadaliev. So that might be a special fighter right there. Uh, Chocolatico. Man, like we may be living in a golden era and not even know it. The Charlo brothers. You know, like especially Jermel Charlo, you know, he has three of the belts about to try go for Undisputed one more time against Brian Castaño in, on, on February. Yo, it's crazy. It, 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 it's crazy. I, I, I'm telling you, we're living in a golden era. Your kids, if they become boxing fans, they're going to ask you about this era. Trust me. Remember this. Remember this live. I agree. Golden era. Yeah, man. I think we're I think we just got lucky. And what's crazy is. I just started my YouTube page. So my page is not only going to grow, it's only going to get bigger and better as I continue and learn from my mistakes. And I'm doing all of this during the golden era. Like, it's amazing. This is a golden era. A lot of people would just, there's going to be a lot of old school people who are going to see this live and probably laugh at me or, or probably disagree. And that's cool. That's cool. But he who laughs la laugh last, laughs best. And trust me, with the landscape, we got a heavyweight with Joshua, uh, Jared Anderson on the come up, uh, Usyk, Fury. That's a good heavyweight class. And then even the, the lower weight, uh, lower level heavyweights like Luis Ortiz, Andy Ruiz, uh, uh, Otto Valin, uh, Dillian White, uh, you know, um, Joe Joyce. There's a lot, a lot of good heavyweights. So that takes care of the heavyweights. So people always go, oh, well, if you don't have good heavyweights, you know, the, the boxing is, you know, how the heavyweights move is how boxing moves. Well, we got a lot of good heavyweights. So that, that takes care of that. Then our superstar is Canelo. He's the biggest star in boxing. He just sold 800000 with Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant's not a major star. Now, imagine had Caleb Plant been, you know, I don't know. I can't think of anybody. Imagine had that been somebody at Errol Spence level of fame. He would have sold probably 1.5 million. You know what I'm saying? Then, so we got, he's our star. We also got, I, I could go through the list again, but it's just crazy. It's just crazy how many people we got. How many uh, 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 people we got like that are really, really good. Again, maybe living in the golden era.